Cars and I'm working at Tide. Um, I'm a development officer um, for a few months and um, I've picked up this shark project as part of my activities here, uh, which has been really, really fun. Um, getting a message about shark conservation out into the communities here. Um, communities are at the heart of what Tide do and it's really important to get these sort of conservation messages out to kids because um, those are the people that are going to be able to change uh, their attitude and their behaviours uh, to make a more sustainable uh, resource base here in the future. Are you ready to learn, learn some cool stuff about sharks? Yeah! Yeah? Good, okay. So we're going to look at sharks yeah. and we're also going to look at these yeah. guys which are manta rays. Has anyone ever seen a manta ray? No! Yes. They do eat fish. Well, they do eat fish. Sharks are not monsters and that they need protecting um, not only in Belize but around the world if they're actually going to uh, survive into the future. There's a lot of threats facing them but the biggest one um, is finning and that's what we're trying to get support for to um, stop international trade in fins um, at the CITES meeting. And we talked a lot about why they're important in the ecosystem, so where they fit in the food chain um, and what happens when um, humans start to hunt them, uh, what happens to the rest of the ecosystem, it collapses, causes a lot of problems for fishermen and for the other creatures in the reef. Sharks are the biggest fish in the world. Who can name me the biggest? And here in Belize, um, the sharks are really work quite well protected. Um, there's a ban on fishing any nurse sharks, which are a really important shark here. Um, there's also a ban on finning, so any sharks that are caught, you have to catch them for the whole shark and use the meat uh, and not just the fin. So we've got rid of that wasteful practice here in Belize. To be ground up and turned into medical pills. Although many a doctor had written a letter saying, Manta ray gills don't make sick people better. It's important for us to think on a wider scale. Uh, one of the things we tried to teach the kids was how sharks move around the ocean. Uh, they migrate thousands of miles for feeding or breeding um, or when the temperature changes. Um, so, you know, protecting them here in Belize isn't going to help them once they exit the waters here. Um, so it takes a lot of international cooperation um, to get the protection they need to survive. I think that went really well, yeah. Um, kids got the message by the end of it, uh, which is the important thing. They seem to have this realisation that sharks aren't monsters and um, that they do need protecting. Um, I mean, it's quite a big concept to get across to kids of this age uh, about sort of big global issues like that, but I think doing it quite simply like that, I think, gets the message. And the videos particularly, I think, hit home. The kids are really interested in that sort of stuff. Yeah, and I think they found it surprising as well, um, particularly that only five people a year <laughs> actually get killed by sharks. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully um, they will go home and they'll tell their parents about it and uh, start getting the message around.